All right, so you guys remember this stunning dress that I thrifted from the Salvos in Tempe. So this is my Christmas dress and my husband hasn't seen it yet. So we're gonna show him now. Dan, this is my Christmas dress. Your Christmas dress? Yes. Why do I need a dress for Christmas? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a dress, this pants. <laughs> this is a onesie, you're lying to me. What is this? It must come off now. <laughs> So you guys watched me decorate our guest bedroom using only thrifted items and today we're going to be decorating our formal dining room once again using only things that we thrifted. The only exception is basically going to be our dining table and the chairs. But aside from that, I have thrifted a beautiful bookshelf, I have thrifted a lot of decor, home decor, we have Christmas decorations. Everything that's going to be on our Christmas table is all thrifted. So join us. We're just going to put on some Christmas carols and essentially just set up this room because at the moment it looks pretty horrible. There's no skirting boards. We're, we're waiting for the skirting boards to get installed. So just, just ignore that part. But uh, anyway, join us while we decorate for Christmas. Cheers, Dan. Merry Cheers. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thriftmas. Thriftmas. Merry Thriftmas. Thriftmas. So one small issue I've encountered is that I set up my beautiful Christmas tree upstairs when I filmed that uh, thrifted Christmas decorations video. I set it up up here because the lighting was the nicest, but it really needs to be downstairs in the lounge room. How does one transport a fully assembled decorated Christmas tree? With great difficulty! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, back down, back up, back down. Bubble down. All right, now that our tablecloth is on the table, let me just start off by saying, this is just a piece of Hessian fabric from Spotlight. It's just a craft store, it's nothing fancy. I'm gonna show you some more little Christmas decorations that I've picked up over the past couple of days from thrift stores. Starting off with Dan's favorite, Look at this guy. So the first time that I went thrift shopping for decorations, I spotted him at the Dural Vinnies and I didn't buy him and I thought about him for several days and I played my favorite game, let the universe decide for me. And I said, if he's still there when I go back, he was meant to live with us. And of course he was, he was there with his arms open waiting for me. Look, he was just, he was waiting for a little cuddle, see? So I got this. Now my original plan for this thing, this is just like a big wire Christmas tree. Unfortunately, it is very easy to detach. It's got like a, a, a screw where it's supposed to screw on, but the thread is actually worn off, which is so annoying because you guys know those beautiful baubles. I wanted to get this so that I could take those incredible baubles and thread them onto it like that. And then I could sit it in front of a window and then the light would shine through them. But because this is so unsturdy, because it falls apart very easily, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Like, I guess I, guess I could put some super glue or something in there. It's I don't know, Dan, have you got any ideas? How do I, huh? You've got glue? All right, so I'm gonna trust Dan to make this thing work properly and safely for my beautiful glass baubles. Uh, this was $5 and I don't think that they realized that it was broken or otherwise I don't think they would have charged $5 for it. Oh, okay, this is another thing that I spotted the first time that I went decoration shopping. I didn't buy it because it was $25, which I thought was too much, but it's a beautiful gold, candle tree and it's got little snowflakes hanging off it and my original intention for this was I was going to take all of these out and I was going to put all of them in a pot of boiling water and melt the wax down remove all of the wax from all of them and I make candles and I was going to make blue and pink pastel candles and like pour them back in but I ran out of time so I will do that at a later date because this will be with us for many years. I, there will be more Christmases. I know it's 2020 and it feels like there may never be a Christmas again, but next Christmas I can put different colored candles in this. So I'll burn these ones down this Christmas. This will definitely be sitting on the table. It doesn't entirely match the theme. The colors are a little bit off, but I think our family will forgive me. Found a gold reindeer. He was $2. If I say two buckaroos, does that, is that a pun? Because they, because they buck. Is that? <laughs> oh no, he doesn't stand. Come on. Oh, is that why someone donated him? So this is made in Japan. Uh, it says that it was $9 and it's like a little crystal Christmas tree. It's actually crystal, it's not just glass. It says on the bottom that it's crystal. And uh, you're supposed to sit like a tea light in here and burn it. 
Yes. And uh, I was actually thinking I was going to like spray paint the star gold and I was going to stick little like bauble things all over it, but this is another one that I ran out of time to do my arts and crafts on. But it's beautiful as it is anyway, so hopefully that doesn't matter too much. I got this, simple yet effective. It's a beautiful glittery candle that's like, like a flower and it was $2 from Vinnie's. Oh, I got this, which I didn't use. <laughs> This is one of those days till Christmas countdowns. So we, we have one day until Christmas. It's, the, it's Christmas Eve right now. So one day till Christmas. He was $6, which is, I thought was a great find. Oh, these next ones, these are so cool. Have you seen these yet, Dan? No. Uh, come have a look. Come on camera, come, come, come. So I found these also at the Dural Vinnies. I don't know if like one very generous person donated all of their Christmas decorations or what, but that they had, that was a gold mine there. They had everything, and these were six dollars each. Now these are from a store called Dusk, which is like kind of like Bath and Body Works. Like they sell candles. Look, wow. how cool! That's so pretty. So, oh my god, you probably I don't know if you can see. There we go. Look. So Would you like a black backdrop. Yes, a black backdrop. Here, just hold still. Hold very very. There. Good job, Dan. I knew I knew I married you for a reason. So. <laughs> This, look, it lights up. How cute. Oh, it changes oh. color and everything. Adorable. Beautiful little light up angel. So I got one. You take this one. There was a second one too. Ooh. This one's even better. How cool is this one? This one's holographic. Isn't this incredible? And what amazes me, oh, oh my God, he's literally never been used. Hang on. <gasps> never been used before. What amazes me is that they are so delicate with these tiny little details on them and they haven't been broken. All I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> Archie said no. No. Oh. oh, it's so cute. Okay, these are like some of my favorite things now, some of my favorite Christmas decorations. Just a simple one here. This was $6. This is just a little Christmas lantern. Uh, this was from Ikea. Oh yeah, it's from Ikea. I feel like everyone has one of these. If you if you have one of these or you've seen it in a thrift store, please tell me. I feel like we're all connected through Ikea somehow. These were $2, these were $2, and these were $2. And we're going to put them, we're gonna put them up there. Can you start? Um, yeah, sure. All right, now while Dan's doing that, I have a couple of things on here that I need to show you. Uh, first of all, these are silicon molds in the shape of Santa's head. My plan for these was actually, you know how I said that I was going to um, melt the wax from these candles? When I melted it, I was going to pour it into these and use them as like um, melts, you know, wax melts. Ran out of time. But again, uh, look, there is still time tomorrow. I can get some stuff done tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Christmas day, so I can probably do a few little things like this tomorrow. Now I've got this. This was $5. This is just a bust. <laughs> this is, so... Sam, my best friend, makes jewelry now for his Etsy store and I got this so that we could like hang the jewelry off it and take pictures. I actually don't know if this was supposed to be for sale or not because they had like a, a bunch of them in the store. They were displaying their jewelry on it but it had a price tag on the bottom, said $5. So I was like, oh, I may as well try and buy it. And she's like, yeah, yeah, you can buy that. So got this to take photos of jewelry. This is a little uh, Christmas gift pile. Gifts, the thrifted gifts I'm giving this Christmas. I got this for Grace. It says, a fun thing to do in the morning is not talk to me, which is probably the most grace saying I've ever heard. Look, I feel like if you don't know what to give someone as a gift, you can always give them a mug with a slogan and you can always find slogan mugs at literally every thrift store you go to. Oh, I got these for Dan. No, no that's it. No, just turn around. I just do it in Japanese, that way I won't know what you're saying. Kore wa whiskey grasu. <laughs> <laughs> So these are made in Italy and there's six of them and I got them for Dan. They're so beautiful and Dan and Sam, they, they love drinking whiskey together. So I got six of these really beautiful crystal Italian glasses. They're so nice. I got these for my mum. So these are the brand Crabtree and Evelyn and this was $6 and it's brand new unopened. There are a whole bunch of little hand creams. My mom is the biggest sucker for hand cream imaginable. Like, my mom is the easiest person to buy presents for because there's not much in life that she wants other than candle, hand cream, and pajamas. 
she doesn't want anything else. So when I spotted these brand new unopened, I, I knew they were perfect for her. There's uh, rose water and peppercorn, pomegranate and argan oil, citron and coriander, which is cilantro for you Americans, hair and pine magnolia, goat milk and oat, and lavender and espresso. So mum's going to love this. And what I'm thinking is, you guys remember this, and I was saying in the video, uh, I'm not sure if I should keep it for myself or if I should give it as a gift. I bought it because it was so beautiful and it was just very, very special. So I was thinking this could actually be a really nice way to present mum with her hand creams because the box is a little bit banged up, but uh, the hand creams have never been opened. They're all still sealed. So I think I'm gonna take these out and I'm going to put them in here like a little bouquet. All right, so there they are in there. I feel like what would make this a little bit prettier is if I put like some tissue paper or something on the inside, maybe like some glittery, sparkly tissue paper or something just to make it look a little bit prettier. Maybe I can put a bow around this, but you guys get the idea. That's always a good way to give a gift. If you find some beautiful vessel like this, whether it's a vase or it's some sort of beautiful bowl or something, you can give someone a gift. So like, let's say you find a beautiful, oh damn, can you pass me, see the bowl down there? Oh, yeah, the oh. big, big bowl down there. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, this one? No. I read yeah. this one over here. Well, that one over there did you throw it to So, for example, I'm keeping this one for myself, but uh, imagine if you find a really nice bowl you can buy for someone as a Christmas gift, and then you can go shopping, and you could get chocolate-covered nuts, and you could get a whole, like, you know, a nice selection of really good Christmassy kind of food, and you can put some tissue paper in and put all the food in there and then they get to keep the lovely bowl and they get to enjoy the delicious food that you've bought for them too. There's a gift idea for you, a last minute gift idea. And another thing that I got for my mum, she's going to love this. This says Oriton, 100% cotton made in Japan. And uh, this was $12 and I don't actually know if they're scarves or if they're handkerchiefs and they're folded so nicely that I, I don't want to take them out. See, look, it just says Oriton on the back. I'm gonna go as far as to guess that they are handkerchiefs, but either way, regardless of if they're handkerchiefs or scarves, Oriton's like one of my mom's favorite brands. And this was at the Dural Vinnies and it was sitting up on a shelf. I spotted, Ooh. who's that? Oh, it's Sam. Oh, it's Sam. <laughs> I thought it was my mum. Um, so I spotted this and I knew that mum would love it. So I got this for mum. So anyway, now that Sam's here, I'm gonna get the boys to help me move this big shelf because I got this shelf from the Castle Hill Vinnies and you guys might remember that there were two of them and I wanted to buy them both, but I played that game where I let the universe decide. And when I went back, one of them was sold and the other wasn't. So this is going to fit perfectly in the little nook over there. And I'm gonna put some Christmas decorations on it. So. Uh, Sam, can I use your muscles? Uh, what do we say, kids? It's like a finger. In the hole. <laughs> I I don't feel safe having those up there. Why? They look precarious. Had, look, these baubles are destined to die. We oh, almost no. had a tragedy. Sam wasn't here when I was explaining the situation with this and he just picked it up and it detached. Yeah, but only at the bottom half, but also I caught him in air, so like, we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. So Dan is going to epoxy it, so let me delicately oh. remove this. Dan needs to put some glue on that. So Alex and I found this bag at a thrift store. I don't know what it's for. Alex, what's this for? I, I think it's meant to be a present tote bag. So I think that you are supposed to fill it up and put your presents inside when you go visit your friends. So uh, either that, you can put presents in it or you can put your very small friends inside too. Here comes Santa Sam, here comes Santa Sam, right down Santa Sam Lane. All right, so I don't have a table runner, but what I do have are these placemats. So these are all thrifted and I'm just going to run these all the way down the table. You have to learn to improvise when you're having a totally thrifted Christmas. All right, so fun fact about how I'm going to be setting my table this year. This cutlery in here is the cutlery from Dan and my wedding. And this is all purchased on the Facebook marketplace. So basically the venue where we hosted our wedding, the cutlery that they provided was um, like brasserie style cutlery, you know, this sort of stuff. And we thought, oh, you know, it would be nice to match the theme of our wedding if we could find some gold cutlery. So we actually managed to get all of this 
second hand off the Facebook Marketplace. I think it's about $50 or something for the set. If anyone's interested, this is called WM Rogers and Son. We also have thrifted bonbons, thrifted from the Vinnies in Pennant Hills. You guys were right, it's not a vase, it's a napkin holder. All right, so we got this cabinet from the Lifeline at Castle Hill. My mum got it for us as a Christmas present and the plan for it is eventually we're going to whitewash it so you can get like a whitewash kind of paint that you put over the top of the timber and it'll show a little bit of the timber through it. We're not gonna paint the whole thing stark white, but this is like an Australian household staple. I swear, if you're watching this and you're an Australian, you know someone, either you have this or you know someone that has this cabinet. I know like 30 people with this cabinet. This is going to be our alcohol station. I've got my little wreath here that I was supposed to do a bit of a DIY project on, but I didn't get around to doing that this year. Alrighty, look at this. Look at this stunning, stunning glass vase that I found. I think that this was at the Dural Vinnies from memory. This was $40, which I don't mind paying at all because this is another piece of hand-blown glass. So I've already put a bouquet of flowers in here that Daniel's mum gave me, and they look stunning in this. I'm basically, I think that that's gonna be the color scheme of this cabinet over here. I think it's mostly going to be red. So another awesome find was this. Now I found this at the Richmond Salvos and it was in the glass counter at the front and this is actually my very first legitimate piece of Murano glass. It says Murano glass made in Italy and uh, I definitely have to apologize to my Italian subscribers because I had never heard the word Murano before and I saw those mushroom lamps, you know, those ones that I've been seeing all over the internet and uh, it, those are called Murano mushroom lamps. And I didn't know that Murano was a place in Italy. I wasn't sure if it was a brand or what. And in one of my videos, I was like, what is Murano? What does it mean? Is it a company? But I've been told it's an island in Italy where they specialize in a unique glass blowing technique. And it's really interesting to look into. So thank you to everyone that let me know about where Murano is. Anyway, this is my first actual piece of Murano glass. And interestingly enough, all these people have been tagging me in pictures on Twitter and Instagram in um, Goodwill in America where there's Murano glass for sale for like five bucks. This was 40 at the Salvos here. I feel like in Australia, maybe the value placed on Murano glass is a bit higher than it is in America because I've literally been tagged I reckon in like a hundred posts over the past couple of weeks from people saying, look, I found Murano glass and it's got a sticker on it that says Murano glass five, ten dollars in America. So anyway, this one, I wasn't certain if I was going to buy this one or not because uh, it's red. That's why. And I was saying to myself, oh, you know, it's not pink or blue and that's the color scheme that I want in my house. But then I was like, don't be dumb. I literally restrict my life so much by saying like, no, it needs to be pastel. I, why do I restrict myself like this? So I was like, no, don't be silly. I would just like to show you guys how strong my powers of manifestation are because you remember this plate from my uh, pastel home decor video and I said that I really, really wanted to find another one like this. Well, not even 24 hours later, I found this. Look, this has that same sort of um, really cool mottly texture on the base as what this one has. Obviously, they're not the same color, but I... <laughs> I mean, they're pretty close. How, how nice is this? This is just beautiful. So this is definitely gonna be used to serve some food on Christmas day. We'll be putting salads or something in it. Oh my God, it's delightful. beautiful frame I thrifted for my mom for her Christmas present. This was $15. I got it at the uh, Vinnie's in Windsor and it's so heavy. It's glass. The whole thing is glass. Even the back of it. This is glass and this little thing down here is glass and I'm going to put a family photo in it and that'll be part of her Christmas present. You guys want to see a party trick? Are you gonna pull a bubble out of your nose? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. So that was a bubble. Sorry. 
Are you saying that to what the room? That bubble. I don't know. So uh, when I worked at a restaurant while I was in university, I was taught to carry quite a few wine glasses. Let's see just how many wine glasses I can carry. Four, five, seven. I can keep going. Samuel, could you pass me one more, please? Yeah, yeah, we're in challenge mode now. We're, we're adding, we're adding a fun. There you go. Plus the final one up top. That one could even be filled with stuff. <laughs> I'll tell you, there is no greater stress when you work in hospitality than walking through a crowded restaurant carrying nine wine glasses. <laughs> So, uh, how's setting up that table going? Not bad. How much did this all cost? Oh, not much. How much was that? This? Yeah. Oh, this this wasn't cheap. Where's it from? Ah, uh, it's from the Vinnie's at Dural. Where's that? Oh, uh, not far. When did you get it? Oh, uh, not long ago. So do you really talk like that? <laughs> not really. It's just a Carl Barron skit. <laughs> So uh, these these candles, they're not really the best. <laughs> they're trying. Yeah, normal Expectation. Flame. Reality. done setting up for the night um, we're going to kick back and relax and enjoy our Christmas Eve because it's been 24 ruthless days of thrift miss and I've enjoyed every moment of it but I am tired with a capital T we're going to sit down relax have some food serve it all up in the beautiful plates and bowls that I've been thrifting but before we do that and before we say goodbye I want to show you the last few items of Thriftmas because I thrifted these things uh, just before we went into like another mini lockdown here in Sydney. We had no cases for a long time, but here we are now. We have a few popping up here and there, so no more thrift shopping for me. I will be staying at home and enjoying all the things that I've thrifted thus far, and these are the last of them. And this I thought I thought I would let the boys have a look. Oh, same. I've already I've already found my favorite. Thing. No, you, you don't get to claim things. <laughs> yeah, I'm not claiming, but I've already found my favorite thing. It's not this. Oh, but whoa, 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 actually, that is. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, if I hold it like this, you can't tell that there's an it. It's like just, it's like a dragon egg. It does look like that's kind of cool. But you know what I like this for? It could be like a big flask, and you just like. Whoa. You could actually, but check this shit out. How dope is that? What is? I, what is it made of? Is it vibranium? It sounds metallic, but I think it it's looks. Glass. But it's yeah, glass. it looks like glass though. But it's been done in. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, that is glass, but like it's, it's so sick. It feels oh, really nice. This is cool. I think it's glass. I like it. Did you have any secretive plans to spray these or do different colours on them? No, I've learned She's my learned lessons. Her this one. Oh yes, I will be spraying this. That would be fun to drink out of. It kind of looks like a science. Not <laughs> everything is a flask, boys. This would also be fun oh. to drink out of. No, 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 no. This, this. Bad this would be fun to drink out of. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean, uh, cheers, guys. <laughs> Merry sorry, Christmas. Sorry, so I'm back here. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long 24 days. This is a. Well, I'm using it to put my finger in, but I don't think that's what it's meant to be. <laughs> this is for. A smaller finger. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even get my finger in this one. This is for a long finger. This I, one. You know is what? You for know what? I, I feel, Sam, I feel like these are all like singular flower vases. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all vases. They're all vases. Wow, I like what you've done there. This is gorgeous. I really like this. I really like this. Hold it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> please, please, Merry Christmas. Please. 
take Merry some Christmas. of these vases away. And this item, we have a glass of dragon juice. egg. It's in the mid 17th egg. century. It by... is, it's from uh, Vinnie's. Hmm. It is $20. Yeah. It is a street light glass. green glaze street glass. Here we have a holographic Venetian vase. You can tell by the glass blowing techniques that it would have been crafted approximately 1927 and from the intricate detailing around the neck here this definitely is the work of a Vincent Armitage. A Saint Vincent if you will. A Saint Vincent. <laughs> this one is Folded and I'm still I'm, we're 99% certain it's glass, right? But unless unless we broke it, I I can't be certain. I, I think it's glass. Yeah, but it it still doesn't feel like glass. Like just with the ah. the, the sounds that it makes. Yeah, yeah, like put it up against the microphone. Yeah. Do a good ping on it. This is a very very cool bowl. It's like folded like this, and we don't know glass or metal. We actually can't tell. Yeah. Like glass can sound like that, but it's got a real metallic tone. The Tsar bars. Tsar bars? Yeah, the Tsar. You, you know, the stuff. Russian Tsars? Yeah. Oh. Because, you know, this this is clearly Russian Whoa. inspired. Like, you know, we, we're talking uh, the, the, Krem the, the Kremlin bars. You know how the roof of the Kremlin has got, got a little whoop? <laughs> yeah. A little whoop? Whoop! <laughs> we have three noodle vases of different sizes mm -hmm. because all hail the noodle overboard. Exactly. Yeah. This one is aligned along the uh, Look, Y axis quite well. They fit inside one another so clearly. Have <laughs> you showing docking? <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> you know what? Everyone you know, should always uh, dock their noodle vases. <laughs> okay, that's that's more than enough. We didn't even look at the last one, but I don't think we need to. I think we can just we can just put this down and be done with it. You know, let's just the less we say about these, yeah, the exactly. better. How about we just push everyone? Oh, <gasps> but it leaks. Oh no! No! I, I was wondering why it was getting less and less. I was like, I swear, I was generous. Dan poured some wine in my little stone goblet, and it's leaked everywhere. See, Alex, you should have drunk from this. <laughs> yeah. No, clearly you should have drunk yeah. from this. Oh my god, guys. Um, by the way, so you guys remember these little star candles that I thrifted? They've been lit for approximately four minutes and they're already yeah, this one's like gone. gone. Let me see that. Gone. There is Shredded. nothing. There's oh nothing, boy. There is nothing left. Oh dear. I'm gonna. Guys, I'm gonna need to get some more candles. Are, are the shops open on Christmas Day? Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally have no candles. For Christmas tea. Oh, yeah. we've got tea lights, we'll be right. Okay. All right, guys, well, there you go. The, the decorative stone goblets were In most fact, certainly decorative. decorative. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, guys, that's it. That's everything. I hope that you enjoyed setting up our Christmas table with us. Uh, happy Christmas Eve to those of you that celebrate. Thank you for joining us on Thriftmas. There will be a video tomorrow. Tell me down below what you want to see tomorrow on Christmas Day. What do you want the very last episode of Thriftmas to be? I think maybe something like the best things that I thrifted this month, or you know what, leave your comments down below. But uh, anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you boys for helping me set up the Christmas table. Anytime. Okay. Cheers Merry to Christmas all. Merry Christmas to our friends out and there. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. happy holidays. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Mwah.